Today I'm going to show you how to create fake bruises with a product by PPI called Glazing Gels. Now these were sent to me to review but this is a completely honest and unbiased review. I really do like these. I'm going to be using the glazing sprays for this tutorial which is a more liquid and less pigmented product so that it's easier to get those really subtle faded aged bruises. It is a water-based product and they do have various colors which are specific to bruising, which I think is awesome. The bruise yellow is one of my favorite colors ever and it's pretty much the exact color that bruises go on my skin, so they've absolutely nailed it in my opinion. So I have a real bruise on my shin on the bottom here, which I'm going to try and copy as a good reference. So if you have any real bruises or any scratches or anything like that, I always think it's a pretty cool opportunity to be able to try and copy from a real life reference. And you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, you try and recreate a bruise or something like that. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to start with my favorite color, the bruise yellow. It is quite liquidy, so I either dip my brush in and then don't re-dip that brush for hiding purposes, or if I'm using a lot of it, I will decant it into a smaller cup. I'm using a fan brush here because I think they're pretty good at applying the product, and then I'm using a finger just to blend it out. You don't want any lines where the brush has applied things, because then it will be obvious that it's applied and how you've applied it. Whereas if you blend it in and soften the edges, it's gonna look a lot more realistic and natural. So now copying my bruise below, I can see there's some green tones in there. So I'm gonna grab the glazing spray in bruise green and I'm going to apply little bits around the edges. You don't want all of it to be the same pattern, same coloring. You kinda wanna break it up into different sections just like the real bruise has. So you can see there's darker points in there and lighter points. So I'm doing a couple of these greener points around the edge. Now I'm going in with Bruise Blue, which is the darkest and most pigmented of these colors. So you want to be very soft hand when applying it. Just put little bits around the edges. You don't want to go overboard and make sure you blend it out really quickly with your finger. A little bit of water can also help to blend this out. And I'm just using a pointed brush to apply little bits around the edges. Now I'm going in with Bruise Red, which is kind of between red and purple. So again, I'm just doing little sections of it around the edges, around the outside, kind of sporadic, but also kind of copying the reference image below, which you can see a couple of points of darker purpley red colors in there. And again, I'm applying it with a brush and then patting it out with my finger so that you get the softer blended edges. Um, now I've kind of looked and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I want to put a little bit more purple down. So I'm using that pointed, putting in little dots with the pointed tip of the brush of the bruise red color, just to simulate those burst capillaries that happen in a bruise. So I think it is good to leave some points darker and some points more blended out, but just make sure there's no very obvious signs of where you've applied what. And this is the finished bruise, taking reference from real life. So I do really like these glazing gels. They work a little bit differently from the effects palette, which is what I also use, which is an alcohol activated color. And that the alcohol activated color um, is composed of pigments and alcohol. The alcohol fully evaporates and leaves the pigments on the surface of the skin. The way that these glazing gels and glazing sprays work is different. They sink into the skin. It's almost like a stain. So when you're filming it in HD video, it looks a lot more realistic and a lot more like it's coming from underneath the skin like a bruise naturally would. But in saying that, if you are a beginner and you're not doing this a lot, um, it might be out of your budget to go and buy all these individual glazing sprays and gels. If you are a professional, if you're getting paid, if you're building up a kit to do this kind of thing and you're doing bruises quite often, I would highly recommend getting these. I think they are very cool. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do two more videos about bruises because I'm a little bit obsessed and a little bit unlucky because I have a lot of good references at the moment. So I also have a much darker bruise on my hip, which I've recreated with both the alcohol paints and the glazing gels and sprays. So you can see more of an intense build up here. And I'm also doing a video where I compare different products for creating bruises. Um, such as the effects palettes, the glazing gels and sprays, water-based palettes and cream-based palettes as well, which you can click on here. And if you're not subscribed and you find this video is interesting, there's also a subscribe button right here and you'll be notified when new videos are released. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.